Hello travelers, so today I want to take a look at the 10 best travel products and accessories. So this is in addition to your essential carry-ons. And I will be doing a video later on about some of the essentials, but this is sort of additional things that will make your travel a lot easier and a lot better and a lot smoother. So the links for all these products will be in the description and in a comment down below. Um, so if you are interested in purchasing them, it does go towards helping the channel. So the first item here is the Hero Clip. I also did a review on the Hero Clip Mini. You can click just up here in the right to see that one. Now this one I did use the mini version. Uh, it does come in two extra sizes, small and then this is the medium size. So the mini, small and medium. And they all have their different uses um, in terms of different sizes. But for me personally, I do find that the mini size is the best because it basically fits in your pocket and it's just really nice and compact and still very strong. And you can see here, the maximum carry of this is 40 pounds or 18 kilograms. So it should be able to hold your fully packed backpack. So now one of the reasons I really love this is because it's, it's an enhanced carabiner. So you can just turn it around and it becomes a hook which you can use in a variety of different ways. I've used it for everything for holding my shoes to the back of my bag, to holding my bag on the back of a toilet door like this, for example. The next product is this one here, which is the Turtle Pillow. The Turtle Pillow is another one that I also did a review on, so you can click up on the right to see that one. I reviewed the original one here. I also did review the Plus version here. So I'll put both of those links in the top right hand corner if you want to check those ones out. So essentially this is a compact travel pillow, especially the original version I quite like. It's very compact and it's stretchy and it's warm and it's comfortable and you don't have to sort of blow it up to inflate it while you're on the plane. And just in a lot of ways, it's very comfortable to sleep on. So if I did have to take a travel pillow, this is definitely the one that I would take. Now, one of the other items which I really love, and I also did a review on here, and I use this one for washing my clothes while I'm traveling. And that is this one here, which is a dry bag. So I use the Cedar Summit view pouch or C pouch. And this one actually includes removable clips, which you can unscrew if they break and has a little clip here. And it's got a very strong and durable opening and closing. You can see there's like a bracket in here. I like this one with the C pouch because I can put my washing and laundry in here and I can see how much water I have. And when I shake and agitate the clothes, I can see how much the suds are building up. Um, this one here is the four liter version and that could still work for washing your laundry. Um, but anywhere between 8 to 10 is also a great range. And they pack up very small, and particularly this one here is extremely lightweight. As you can see here, I also use my dry bag as basically a way to carry all my toiletries or water-based items. So like my towel and my water bottle, uh, my toothbrush and everything I will put into this bag while I'm traveling as a kind of packing cube for all of my sort of um, toiletries and related stuff like that. Now another item here which I think is really essential and I probably couldn't travel without it is uh, a power bank. So I have this one here which is the Orky XD10 I believe it's called. I've put a link to a similar one um, uh, which is a similar size and weight. The, I believe it's the older version of this one. This one actually has a USB and uh, a fast charging standard port and just a little button on top to show you the remaining percentage. So this one weighs just under 200 grams or about seven and a half ounces. Um, so it's really light, but it's still 10,000 milliamp hours, um, which is plenty enough to charge uh, a phone or even a Nintendo Switch. In this case, uh, this one outputs 18 watts through the USB-C. Um, so I can use this one to charge my Nintendo Switch, for example. So a really great item and it's not too big or heavy to carry and I just always pop it in my day bag while I'm traveling. Now a really useful follow-up to that one is this one here which is the Anchor Power Line I believe it's called but any other sort of cable which does something similar it, um, would be just as useful. This one is just a standard USB so I'd plug that in here and then it's got a micro USB and then you can change that into an iPhone lightning port and you can also change that to USB-C. So I actually use this one almost every day whilst charging between my camera, which uses a micro USB, and then my iPhone or my friend's iPhones, which use lightning cable. And at the time I had a Google phone, so I used, I had the USB-C and I also use the USB-C, also use the USB-C to charge my Nintendo Switch. Um, so a really handy cable to have, especially when you're traveling and you have friends or even other people who you want to help out. And this cable will definitely save you in a variety of situations. Now another item which I've been a very big fan of and you can click up on the right here just to see the review of that one. Uh, that is the Merino Wool Buff. I have used this every single trip that I've ever gone on. 
uh, ever since I discovered them and it's just been really handy for a variety of different situations. Um, I usually mainly use it as an eye mask when I'm sleeping on the plane but you can also use it as kind of a scarf to keep your neck warm through the colder months. It also works as like a headband, a hairband, you know you can just use this for so many different situations that I just always pop that in my bag and carry it with me where no matter where I'm going. Now another item which I have done a review on, you can click up on the right to see this one, um, is the Airlight towel from Sea to Summit. Now this one here is the large version. It also comes in an extra large and a couple of smaller ones, but the large is just big enough to wrap around your whole body. And it's so small and lightweight and it dries in half an hour or even less sometimes. The material on this one is slightly coarser than a usual microfiber towel, but it's still soft, but it's very absorbent and very quick drying. That has become my favorite microfiber towel. Uh, the one I previously used to use was this one here, which is the Cedar Summit Pocket Towel. And this one also is great. It, it's also quick drying. Um, it's very soft and almost shiny in the material. I would probably suggest this one for beginners because it is slightly larger. They both work the same way in how you dry yourself off. And um, they're both very quick drying and both high quality products. And I've never had a problem with smell with either of them. So I definitely recommend those ones. Now another one here, which I did a review on, you can click in the top right. Um, that is the Vapor Bottle. Now this one packs down really small as you can see and I've been able to carry this one onto different flights without any problems. They never have a problem with me carrying this on. This one here I believe is the 500 milliliter version but they also make uh, a one liter version and different versions. This is how much water you can fit in it and because it is a collapsible bottle um, once you've finished drinking the water you can just roll up and pop it in your bag and it saves a lot of space for me and this is partly why I don't usually have a water bottle pocket or I don't like water bottle pockets on my bag um, because I can just click the carabiner here on the on my backpack strap and just carry it that way if I do need quick access to water. So another item which I always carry with me and has also been very useful um, whenever I get it out and clean my hands with it people always ask for one so it's something that people don't really think about bringing but they always do think it's useful when they use it and that is just an antibacterial wipe or a wet wipe or a baby wipe whatever you want to call them. You can get them in little packs like this and they just fit really nicely into a day bag. I find it's really useful when you're eating like street food and stuff like that and you get a bit of something on your hands if there's no toilets nearby and it's really easy just to grab one out wash your hands or wipe your hands down. Uh, another alternative is, would be just like some antibacterial liquid in a bottle that would also be similar and um, but I kind of prefer the little towels. And the last item on the list here is something that I've kind of recently brought, uh, expanded upon but it's something that uh, has been very useful for all my trips and this is one I made myself but in the link I've put one that you can get sort of pre-made um, not with exactly the same stuff but um, I'll just explain a couple of things in here. Um, this is a mosquito repellent wipe um, so I used that and I gave it to different people who needed that um, when they were traveling. Um, some other stuff that I found really useful was um, the aspirin so you know when you're on a flight or something um, you can just grab an aspirin these ones here are charcoal tablets which I picked up in Thailand. Um, they're just sort of like if you get diarrhea or an upset stomach it can help um, settle that. And these ones here are just a couple of band-aids um, so they were very handy for most trips. I even gave a couple of those away to other people who needed them during the trip. Just down the back here I also have some, so some antibacterial antiseptic wipes so if you do happen to cut yourself um, you can clean yourself up before you put a band-aid on. Um, so this is an easy kit you can build yourself or like I said there's one in the description and um, you could add extra stuff like the uh, mosquito wipes which I think are really handy um, if you don't have like a separate bottle. Um, but overall that is really something that I found quite essential for my recent trip. So that's it, uh, my 10 travel products and accessories that I recommend uh, for 2020. Um, please write down in the description if there is any that you particularly are interested in or if there's some that you would definitely add. Um, let me know if you are going to pick one up and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos and I'll see you in the next one.